So all of this to me is the source of extraordinary optimism and hope and inshallah thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that despite what <clears throat> many of us think, this is an age of extraordinary divine giving, of extraordinary divine hifs and preservation of, of the ummah, that under conditions under which everybody else has given up, basically, and gone with the secular preoccupations and, and priorities of the, the modern world, we continue to be going ala sirat al-mustaqim, inshallah. So, my conclusion would be that Rida, despite the manifest misfortunes of the modern world, and the modern Ummah, should be something that is instinctual to us. That there has not been, for many centuries, a more direct proof, a more clear miracle, than the present condition of the Ummah. We tend to assume that it's a catastrophe, in fact, in terms of what matters, Subhanallah, it's like a, a gem that may have a bit of mud on it, but the gem is still there. It's a diamond that hasn't been cut and hasn't been rearranged. All we need to do is superficially dust it down in our hearts and in our communities, and the gem is still there. Whereas other people, it's been eroded and rearranged to suit secular discourses and, until there's nothing left except a few fragments. So we have that gem. And for that gem, we have to be saying, Alhamdulillahi ala ni'amat al-Islam wa kafa biha ni'amah. Alhamdulillah for the blessing of Islam, and it's enough as a ni'amah, it's enough as a blessing. Whatever else we might have or might not have, unless we have what really matters, we haven't really got it anyway. Because if you don't have shukr, you can't really enjoy any of Allah's gifts. You just want another. If you've got a billion dollars, you can't sleep at night because the guy next to you on millionaire's row has got two billion dollars. We're not into that game at all. That's the dunya that's like the salt sea. The more you drink, the thirstier you get. We take what we need, and alhamdulillah for us it's sweet because we give the zakat and it's been purified. And we give thanks. Well, in shakartum la azidannakum. If you give thanks, I will give you even more. So we need to maintain this virtue, this virtue of rida, of good pleasure with Allah's decree. And we need to recognize that there is good for us even in God's rigor, just as there is obvious good for us in Allah's giving his generosity, his, his rahmah, the beautiful aspects. Uh, and we need to recognize that the paradigm for all of this is in the lives of the prophets, alayhim wassalam, those who face difficulties infinitely more terrifying than those we face in our world, being thrown into prisons, being persecuted, being alone in strange countries, uh, but who did not doubt for an instant because they knew, because they saw hmm, the truth, al-haq, they were not capable of doubt. And we need, therefore, to reacquire this virtue, this virtue of rida, and we need to be saying, alhamdulillahi awalan akhiran, at the beginning and at the end, it's alhamdulillah, because he is al-qahir fawqa ibadi, he is the powerful over his servants, and, and, and as it says, wallahu ghalibun ala amri, Allah overcomes their affairs. Sayyidina Yusuf, Allah was in command all along. And it's the same with, with all of us. And we need to feel at the bottom of our souls that sense of the absolute perfection of Allah's decree, even if we can't always see it. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa akhir wa da'wana. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wa mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.